Hey Aquarius, how are you? You're very much welcome. This is your energy forecast for the week of the 15th until the 21st and the theme is titled what to expect. So these are events to expect, uh, what is coming your way, main events. So I've also started Patreon where we will have extended readings. The membership will be there, the embodied embodied tribe and uh, yeah you can find the link in my bio if you're on tiktok and the description below if you are on youtube remember that these messages are general so take what resonates for you so what is coming towards you aquarius is the page of wands news exciting news if this is not it feels like yeah it feels like messages coming in this week if this is not messages, then it's about a page of wands, someone who is, it may be a twin flame. When I see the page of wands, I also feel this is a twin flame, someone who has uh, the same energetic core as you. Also, maybe there are messages coming in from this twin flame. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting with this card. If this is not it, then it may be to do with a young person. A child maybe this is the subject of this week so let's get further into this message what about the page of wands ten of cups okay news about a new community hmm a new community you're coming into a new community you've come into this could be your work this could be a marriage as well, a commitment. Okay, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but it feels like a commitment, a community. Okay. The tower, something that fell apart. Or your ideas of this regarding this connection okay i'm going to break those messages down so the first message that is coming is regarding this twin flame connection you may have had ideas old ideas regarding you know family connection community and there is a breakdown of that but it doesn't this tower is not given you know a negative kind of tower it just feels like a breakdown of the old concepts of relationships and commitments because this twin flame connection is unconventional it's very different from what you have ever experienced okay that is the first message that is coming in the second one is a message which i'm getting a very spiritually in tune message here is which is related again to the twin flame is that there's going to be a complete breakdown of what commitment and community is like it's like a whole new perspective on soul tribes and community and this feels like a personal encounter for you aqua feels like a personal encounter where you be like and i'm getting aha i'm getting uh you getting some downloads it may be you getting downloads regarding this yeah i'm getting downloads with this page of wands but that is where the message is coming in so yeah let's get into it but the overall message here is the breakdown of old concepts of community and love and relationships and this feels like downloads happening for you and this is also mars energy mars is here to destroy a lot yeah it is destroying a lot of illusions a lot of um ideas that we used to hang on to that are not really true or serving us yeah so whatever this is it feels like a positive one for you all right can you tell us more about the ten of cups Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. So whatever this community was, I'm getting even your physical community, it did bring like this old ideas of community and uh, connections. It did bring you down. You see those swords, these are ten swords. These are different people. Each sword stands for a different group of people that you have met because of some patterns that you were carrying with you. 
so this message is bringing about the end of this phase the end of this cycle 10 10 where you ha you've had to feel let down because you were carrying on with an idea of love and communication i'm getting communication as well and boundaries like maybe the inability to speak when you needed to because there was that fear of uh, fear that was was uh, covered up or le let's put it this way respect that was I'm trying but fear and re respect intertwined somehow like there was no clear line between those two where now you are in a place where you see that respect is is fearlessness is getting to speak your truth and if you can't feel comfortable speaking your truth in a community in a group then maybe it's not worth it so yeah there is a breakdown of that and it feels like it's something that has been building up for you you have been in this process for a while now so whatever this is this download that is coming in for you yeah it's like giving you a confirmation that is the end of it it's it's over you are free you're free look at that you're free from the prison like rapunzel or something like that yeah you're free victory you're free to go out there you're free to live your life you are you can speak your truth the way has been cleared for you you are connected with your ancestors you are protected Talk about manifestations and the Eight of Wands is here. And look what we have, Queen of Wands. This is you, highly magnetic, highly vibrational. That wand, ooh, it has a lot of sparks to it. And I'm getting that whatever these old ideas were because of some, which makes sense, some root issues that cost you to be resilient to have some illusions and whatever those illusions are they are crashing down this week and you're going to be receiving a download or a message about it or you're going to be receiving again another message i'm getting is receiving a message about a family that you left that made you feel like this and it's regarding a queen of wands a mother figure doesn't have to be a mother but their home is crashing down they're finding themselves in a battle that you went through this queen of wands yeah it doesn't have to be a fire sign and i'm getting like strong narc energy here yeah and this will help you to it's like it's giving you closure aqua it's like it's giving you closure and peace of mind to keep moving forward to keep moving with your healing whatever this is cost you a lot of in this and you've had to go in 10 minus 4 so 4 of swords is like lack of the 10 of swords is like lack of energy feeling this very low vibrational family community it's like they brought you down a lot they brought down your energy through what they said and i, I feel like it's your reading where something came about what family says or what your generations can say to bring you down so those are generational causes there we go they're all crashing down you are free congratulations you are free you're free to live your life and you have a very strong masculine ancestor gui guiding and guarding you so know this and when spirit says you're free is because you have learned your lessons as well so you know the concept of karma okay you know what it means to take responsibility and you've really you're now there's a burden a major burden that is being dropped off this week <laughs> the sun the empress 
and nine of pentacles. You're clear, you are free, you are independent. Gosh, I feel like crying. <laughs> I feel like crying with this reading. I, sa I said that I saw 1010. 10. See? You are free to move forward in your healing and your tranquility and your life. Whatever this is that is coming is big. Ah. <sighs> Let's look at this. Mystic, devotion, you've always been devoted. You've stayed true to your healing. And even the sun is one nine, which is one plus nine, ten. You're coming to clarity about your victory in this situation. And this mistake, the color here is given throat chakra energy. So your voice may be, I feel like you're getting a lot of voice clearing with the help of Mercury. Um, yeah. Mystic is... An archetypal feminine. That is 129. Number 10 as well. Look at you. Shadow is separation. The work of my heart is the work of the world heart. There is no other art. Alison Luterman. The mystic is not otherworldly. She is instead marked by radical devotion to all creation through a heart alchemized by love. When you pull this card, lean into the underlying belief that all is well. Live in the world as if it were a temple. Transform seeking into celebration and love all the things it has taken you so long to learn how to love. Allow the holy to come and meet you. The path of the mystic takes you inward to the root of the root of yourself, where you discover your way back home. As mystic, you know samsara, the material world, and nirvana, bliss, are interwoven. You can be in the world and not of it at the same time. To do this, commit to an inner spaciousness that dissolves contradictions and releases all judgments about the way things should be. Let everywhere become a place of reverence, everyone a vessel of divinity. The mystic refutes transcendence in favor of immanence, so don't deny your connection to your body and the world around you in favor of a remote version of heaven. When mystic pays you a visit, she asks you to open to an intimacy with everything around you. Seeing with the eyes of love turns every sidewalk flower, every stray dog, every passing stranger into the face of your beloved. Through this devotion, a merging takes place, blurring any distinction between above and below, inside and outside. Your mystic heart's work parallels the work of the world heart. The one you love lives inside of you and feeds on your light. Expect that as you enter deeper into this mystery, you will discover a delightful form of friendship with the way you are made, even your quirks and rough edges. When struggling forms of resistance arise, remember that living as mystic requires fierce mojo. To release whatever feelings of separation keep you in the dark, allow your intrinsic goodness to draw you toward the light. Allow your intrinsic goodness to draw you toward the light and there we have it Aquarius if this message resonates and was helpful please like share comment subscribe and follow and I'll definitely see you with more videos take care